Today, we're going to be taking a look at something that we have never seen in any Call of Duty in the history of Call of Duties. What is that? And that is weapon tuning. Let's take a look at that and see what it's all about. Weapon tuning in Modern Warfare 2 2022. Okay, we have never seen this before in any Call of Duty in the history of CODs. And we're going to take a look at it right here really quick and kind of break it down and basically show you guys what it can do. So the first thing is you have to max out your weapon, whatever weapon or attachments that you want to use you have to max out the weapon completely and as you can see for the m4 i'm 20 out of 20 so i have it maxed out then after the match whenever you max it out it'll bring you to the screen saying that you are able to tune your weapon or tune your attachments for that gun so if you go to, so we'll just focus on the barrel today and as you can see i have the 14 carbine uh, shroud barrel on if you go up you'll see tune and then obviously click on tune okay, it's hiding there a little bit so you have all these different options in here, which is, is absolutely crazy. On the right side below my face cam, you have all the stats of the barrel. Then on the bottom, you have ADS speed and damage range. And on the left, the vertical uh, column, you have recoil steadiness and you have aim walking speed. So essentially you can turn a lot of these ARs into an SMG, but it will sacrifice a lot of the other stats, which I will show you right now. So if you use your left stick uh, for the left, vertical column recoil steadiness and aim walking movement speed you can bring it up and down okay so this you can't just move it all the way up and make it an smg right you have to look at that middle graph so as you're moving the left column it really it reflects in the middle of what it's doing to the stats overall and basically what it does to the right side and it updates it live as you're moving it so if i want to go all the way down to aim walking speed i can i can check that out and as you can see over on the on the uh, right side, a lot of things will change as well, including the middle circle. So if I want to go up to recoil steadiness, which I have more recoil control, I'll do that. And on the right side below my face cam, you can see that my recoil control went up, my accuracy went up, my range went up, and my damage went up a little bit. So if I want to go all the way down to aim walking movement speed, all of them drop. The ones that went up drop because I'm focused on movement speed and not you know a typical ar which is good accuracy so if i want to go to the bottom um for horizontal line ads speed and damage range so if i move that left to right on my left analog stick you can see what it does so if i want to go to all the way to ads speed you'll see the uh you'll see the bars change it does it's not a significant change uh in the stats but they do change and especially if you look at that middle circle you'll see kind of what it does to that line as i'm moving it right now so it's very interesting it, it, it's endless possibilities of class setups and different ways to use these weapons which uh is this too much uh maybe it is because you might not never you know you might never find that right setup for you uh, but you'll be able to play with it a lot and maybe you'll find something that's completely broken in the game uh which i'm sure a lot of people will you know how it is in call of duties so let me know what you guys think about this man so it can be used for every single attachment i can even tune my you know my optics which is absolutely crazy so if I want to go down here to the magazine, you cannot tune. But if I want to go to my under barrel, you can tune this to make it more ADS speed. So if you make these all ADS speed, you could turn this thing into an absolute monster of an SMG. I'm not sure how bad the recoil will be, but I think you guys understand the point behind that. So if I want to go to my muzzle, I can go to tune. I want to go to ADS speed for the muzzle. You guys understand what I'm talking about. So that is tuning a weapon here in Modern Warfare 2. It's going to have tons of possibilities, thousands of different ways you can run this weapon for long range for you know smg version a typical ar almost anything you can run it as let me know what you guys think about tuning weapons and attachments here in modern warfare 2 drop a like for me leave a comment down below if you guys have experimented with this and if you enjoy it or not but I hope you guys have an amazing day i'll see you guys in the next one peace